Hey guys, um, so what I've got here is something about reps and load. One of the things I'm always doing, and even you guys have been for a while, uh, there's a we need to get a little bit more clearer and a little bit more refined as to what we're talking about when we're coming back to load or effort or how much weight, etc. Um, I harp on a lot of you guys but not remembering what you've been doing or what you should be doing. Um, uh, you ask me a lot and in the beginning that's okay but once you've been here for three months, six months, two years that's not my uh, responsibility really anymore until we start doing new things and every time there's a new thing sure I'm gonna stand in and have a bit of advice to give you and be your coach but part of me coaching right now to a lot of you guys is to start sort of uh, and I've said it to all of you at least once before bring back your attention to detail yourself around what weight you're using or what load you're using. So to make it all a little bit clearer, I'm trying to give you now something hopefully that'll make you understand. I've taken a photo, I'm gonna include it in the email as well. You may have looked at it already, but just starting off, I don't know if you can see this, um, so be it, okay? But at the top here we've got resistance level and then we've got repetition max over here, repetition maximum. Um, if we're lifting at 100%, we're doing one rep. Okay, if we're down at like about 75% load, we're looking at around 12 to 16 repetitions. Um, this is pretty much where science tells us humans in a nature of type 1, type 2 muscles can function. Um, which comes back to the whole creatine, glyco, late, lactate, blah 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 that we've all talked about in the past. You can go on YouTube and see heaps of that. Um, so putting it more simply, if we're doing reps of one, you're looking at 100% repetition max, okay? If we're looking at reps of about 21 plus, we're looking at less than 60% in a workload kind of capacity. If we're looking up at 100% workload and we're looking at one rep, we're looking at a very neuromuscular kind of effort. We're looking at under six, which is argumentative depending on who you talk to or listen to or read, etc. But I tend to prefer to say five and less. I'm just putting that there so... I there's a rough um, acknowledgement of different approaches. Um, in the middle, we've got what we call the sub-max position. Uh, so sometimes it might get you guys to do something like the 30-30 and you might be doing a heavier weight um, and you might only organize, arrange eight reps. That's where we're sort of targeting on that. Uh, we've had days where I've done strength endurance type workouts on the board for you guys and this is also for you guys on your programs. You would know where I've said 8 to 12, etc. You're working in that sub-max level. I've said things like 15 or 15 to 20. Uh, we're working more at that strength endurance level. If you're doing, say we're doing core at the end of the sessions and I've given you three ab exercises to do and they're in that 12 to 15 range and you're doing abs, 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 we're going past strength endurance. We're working way up on endurance of those muscle fibers, okay? And that's what you've got to think about over here. When we talk about um, these higher, moving into that higher repetition zone, we're talking about metabolic adaptation, uh, which is at a cellular level, okay? Um, there's a point where I sort of acknowledge that that's where we go. After that, we're starting to look into a lot more of that longer endurance. Um, or I should talk about intensive and extensive Endurance, intensive is more something where you've got a lot of uh, that short duration cardio, like a 2.4K run or a 2.5K row. Um, and there's, that's fast, it's not, uh, it's not 5K slow, but it's definitely not 400 meter um, fast for us normal fight types. Uh, extensive is that 10 kilometer run scenario uh, where you're a lot slower, you find a steady state and you're just rolling with that. We've got different levels down here where you've heard me say to you guys, RPE, okay, the rate out of 10 or rate of perceived exertion, all right, or perceived effort, all right, um, out of 10 guys, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10. RM is the repetition max, so the load related based on one, so 70% of 100 kilos, and a lot of you guys are able to do 100 kilo deads or squats in here, 70% um, is... 70 kilos of 100%, not 90 kilograms of 100. And I've said that we've had a lot of experiences, especially in the last 12 months where guys are picking up too heavy. I've said, okay, go for 80%. And the next thing you guys are fatiguing at rates that way faster than what you should. And it's because you've picked up too heavy. You haven't correlated properly around that. 
I mean, I really would ask people, A, for safety, to start thinking about that, but it also fits in for the program design. There's a reason why I have things like I write that up in the brackets on the side. Um, repetition uh, reserve, so RR, repetition reserve. So often, uh, recently, sometimes you see me use things like minus two or minus one on the sides. So what that means is you're basically choosing a load or a weight that is allowing you to get to 10 reps, but really you could get to 12. Um, or 11, uh, depending on what we're doing. So you're accommodating the fact that you could do more, but you're stopping at that 10. Down here with intensity, I'll write that up sometimes. Okay, so we've got high, fast, explode, which is going to be more at that one rep range. Okay, or two, three, four, five rep range, um, based on how much heavy or how heavy the weight is that you're losing. Moderate, fitting into that sub max line again, uh, maybe the 30 30s, 40 40 would be somewhere um, where we do that as well. Um, the 20 repetition zone is more about moderate. And then we've got the low intensity, which is often what I'll do towards the movement core related stuff that we're doing here with the active recovery or the core stuff or stabilizer stuff at the end of the sessions. Um, that's a very fast lesson. Uh, hopefully the picture helps and you will ask more questions and be more clearer. I'd really appreciate it that if we could be a little snappier on that side of things uh, when we're setting up in the mornings and getting things going and making your workouts accurate because the accuracy of that load resistance to repetition levels is where the chemistry of a workout and the success of losing body fat or getting stronger all is. And the purpose of the structure that I have is around longevity uh, and sort of keeping you healthy but that doesn't mean you shouldn't be strong in some capacity or you shouldn't be fit in another capacity thanks guys see you.